How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to compare these two cameras. Um, this is typically not a video I would make if you've watched a few of my videos. But after exhausting my resources online, um, I wanted to upgrade. Right now you're watching on a GoPro 8. That's what I've been filming on for quite some time. And I just wanted to update everything. I like to make my videos as uh, quality as possible and just with the new advancements and some of these newer cameras they are doing a lot cool lot a lot cooler stuff with them. So I Could not find a video Dedicated to underwater footage. I have the new DJI Osmos Action 3 and the GoPro 11 um, So I figured I'd make that video myself uh, And the second goal of this video is let you guys the viewers the ones that watch my videos regularly I want you guys to pick which camera you like best because quite frankly I can pick my preference, but I don't watch these videos. You guys are the ones that watch them, so I want the viewing experience to be as um, quality as possible for, for y'all's sake. Um, so what, what we did was I took these out. Um, I went out spearfishing with some friends of mine, and we have some footage, everything from sharks, goliath groupers, to we'll get into to some actual spearfishing towards the end. But apparently, and I'm not very tech savvy, apparently these new cameras have some type of temperature sensor, sensor in them, which kind of auto corrects colors as you go down in depths. Um, on this trip, we did some free diving down to 60 feet. On average, we're doing anything um, from the shallows out to 80, 90 feet of water. Um, so I want the, the video to reflect that. I would like, you know, like I said, I want my videos to be as quality as possible. So um, that was kind of my goal with this video. So let's uh, dive in. We're gonna go over some of the footage. I'll talk through some of it. We're gonna be focusing just on the video quality side-by-side -side comparison. Um, and everything is going to be filmed in 4K30 because that's pretty much all I do. So that's what I'm going to cover. So uh, after the footage, I'll meet you back here and discuss some of my thoughts. Welcome back underwater, everybody. So start out with just a casual dive. Look at some skin tones here. Um, see, I'm almost a little reddish in the GoPro, but then again, I'm almost a little pale greenish on the DJI. Again, it's kind of a preference. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys wanna see. You're gonna be watching these videos on the, whatever camera we ended up deciding, so I'd love to hear your thoughts. And it's like the DJI almost has like a very fine green tint to it at some points. This is a queen angel fish. The GoPro looks pretty good on that shot. <laughs> And on random shots, I noticed the, the DJI is just a little, almost grainy or pixely up in the water column, not necessarily on the bottom, uh, but there's certain shots where I noticed it. A big moray eel. This shot's pretty close. Um, I almost feel like the GoPro looks a little better here. I think it's more a preference than anything. Both very good cameras, and this is a really cool shot. This big hammerhead comes in. We see these in the winter time. I didn't know if it was gonna stop for a second. I thought it was gonna grab my camera, and if you know how those wide angle lenses are, he was about six, in six inches from my lens. That was pretty cool. We're gonna watch that back just on the GoPro. It was a treat to see. Big old hammerhead. Love it. These are some French angelfish. There's a black grouper just kind of hanging out. Delicious. Luckily, I, uh, lucky for him, I just had a camera on me. There's a big old Goliath grouper. Colors are pretty close to the same here, in my opinion. The, the column up above the bottom looks a little more blue in the GoPro. But again, you can see the rocks almost have like a green tint to them in the DJI. But again, kind of just whatever you prefer. I like being able to see this side by side, actually, because if you were just watching one at a time, you may not notice. And uh, this, we're going to get into some spearfishing. You can see really 
almost a saturated color on the GoPro on the surface. And if by any means you're squeamish when it comes to harvesting fish, now would probably be the time to turn the video off if you're new to the channel. With the diver in the frame, I almost like the DJI more here. Um, it's really hard to say. Nice mutton snapper. Thanks to these guys for letting me film. Got Tom and Molly. We had James and Lisa on the boat and Dave. A lot of fun this day. You can see here, being there, um, I did see that fish. The DJI looked a lot more realistic. That fish was not that pink on the surface. This is Molly doing a drop. Another nice mutton snapper. Both cameras do really great. I think we're we're talking about the greater of two goods here. For some reason, this shot I particularly like. Maybe it's because of the colors Dave's wearing. I particularly like the GoPro a little better. I had a tough time filming Dave. He was on the bottom for about two minutes every time he went down. This was actually a really enjoyable dive for me to try and film him. And not to get off topic, but this is what makes a really good free diver. You can just see how comfortable he is. He is in no hurry. He's not panicking. And I know it's easier to do that when you're not running out of breath, but he's very slow and methodical waiting till this fish comes in and gets a nice stone shot on it. I love how he leaves his gun behind him. We're getting a little off topic here, but. You look on the ascent here. It just looks like he's in the grocery store walking around. You can see how comfortable he is. He's an amazing diver. That was a, a, a joy to watch. That was a cool dive. Honestly, I'm a little torn. Um, I think both have pros and cons. I feel like some shots were better with the DJI, some were better with the GoPro. I like the fact that the DJI is a little smaller and a little lighter because I'm wearing it on my uh, mask but I feel like there were some shots that were, were really good with the GoPro. But um, again, I'm gonna say it, it comes down to you guys. You guys are the ones watching the videos. I'm not watching these, so I'd really appreciate it. If you would leave a comment, let me know which footage you preferred more and because um, that's gonna be the camera that you're gonna be watching future videos on. But as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I will get to them. Uh, thanks so much for your time, and I will see you on the next one. Later.